Hi there, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots, and I'm gonna share with you how to draw and paint three different foxes. You only need a couple of items. We're using rocks, and I used a cream acrylic paint and a foam brush to paint in sort of a wood grain pattern. So I'm gonna show you up real close. It's just basically first base coat and then moving everything in towards that center in sort of oval motions. You can see it right here. It's super easy to do. You're gonna to wanna to put it in the sun and let it dry. It's gonna be kind of bumpy and that's what we want. So first, for a sitting fox, basically just follow my lead here. We're going to make sure we use as much of the rock as we can. Doesn't matter what size you rock you have or shape you have. I would say get something a little um, taller than wider. And so what we wanna do is we wanna make sure the head is pretty profound and the tail is pretty profound. So you can draw either one first. I used a smile for the bottom of the head and then put in the little outline for a body and then the tail. So for the head, you're just gonna have a little smile and then you're going to, from the center, split it. So here you can see I'm designing sort of a squashed football it type shape head. <laughs> That's kind of silly, but it's what it reminds me of. And then from the center, you're gonna bring everything into the nose. I'm just gonna hang right below that mouth for this guy, like he's sort of looking down, because I can't draw eyes. So he's gonna have sleepy eyes. Next up, we're just gonna use orange Posca pen. Again, if you have acrylic paint and you wanna use paintbrushes, go for it. I'm lazy. I use paint pens. We're on the patio doing these for a hot summer day, which is why it didn't take us any time at all for this paint to dry. So we're just going to fill in everything in the orange and then finish up an outline in the black. That's it because we don't want to have the white too white. We're just using the cream. All right. And now our second fox is this cute little sleepy fox. So I have this random sort of triangle shape. Um, rock and I did the same exact base coat on it with the wood grain and then I started with sort of a, a, a squashed oval and then moved it to the tail again we're gonna use a very simple face because <clears throat> I cannot draw eyeballs so what I did is I started in the center we want to show that nose because it's like really good for a fox face and then we're gonna cut the sides we're gonna give them a little bit of tufted hair on each side and so we are gonna only outline the orange here and then once it's dry you're gonna outline it in black and add the eyeballs and color in the nose and everything but again we had to wait until this one was actually um, and the orange was actually dry before we did the black Okay, so again, little sleepy eyes, super easy. <laughs> okay, this is the only rock that took more than I wanna say five minutes. And this is our peekaboo um, fox. And so what I did was I just drew a couple of outlines for trees. So I really wanted the fox sort of front and center in this. And so I drew that first tree, this little branch off the side there. And then I'm gonna start with the tail. It's gonna wrap around, because again, this is my focus of my little rock. And so I'm gonna wrap around that tail and make it however big or small you want. Looking back, I wish I would have made the tail a little bit bigger and really sort of cartoonish size, because um, I think that would have been really cute. And that's a reminder there, do not try and erase on rocks. Uh, you can use an artist eraser, but again, we were crafting on the patio between pool sessions, so I didn't have mine with me. Um, okay, so now what we're gonna do is we have the tail, and then we're going to do the same exact thing. We're gonna make a little smile shape for his head, put that on sort of off to the side, but in front of the tree. And then we're gonna start with his nose again, move it out, and then put his little head shape in. We're gonna add some ears. Again, these are not complex drawings. They're super simple because we aren't showing any feet. If you can draw feet, that would be super, or pause, but I can't. So this is my excuse, this is my, my way of drawing this. And so the next little bit here is after you have everything sort of outlined, um, we're just drawing in the rest of the trees here. And again, I'm just using dots because uh, I don't really need to draw everything in fully because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the fox. And so again, we're just going to use the cream for the fox and then we're going, you know, we don't have to do the cream and then we're going to do the orange and the little black highlights, but then the white, either you can use Posca pen or you can use acrylic pen, but the white is actually going to be the trees. So I made birch trees. <clears throat> um, again, because they're really the only tree that I think anybody can draw, even me without a lot of artistic talent. So all I did is I used my Posca pen 
um, to paint in all of the white um, of the trees. And again, you can use a paintbrush um, and acrylic ink. It, like, none of that matters. Again, my daughter and I were on the patio and these are just really easy for us to grab and go. So you can see all of my outlines are in and now it's just time to sort of fill in the blue sky. Okay, now if you ask my daughter, we should have used a much lighter blue here, but I was a little easy to go inside and get the lighter blue. So I would just say if you also, what would look really, really cool for a wintry scene would be a light gray Posca pen or a light gray um, acrylic paint. But again, now all we're doing is we're going, and none of this is dry, by the way. All of this is still wet. I didn't stop any part of this because we're not overlapping anything yet. And so I'm just adding a couple of lines in each of the trees. And then we're going to start outlining everything. So you can see I used black. You don't have to. You can actually go over this in blue or however you like to outline. But I just outlined all of the uh, birch trees first. And then I outlined my little fox because I was, I was waiting on him to just dry in the summer heat. Um, so he wouldn't spread. And that's it for these rocks. It was super easy to make them. We made all three of these in, again, less than, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes on the patio. Uh, you're gonna seal these which whatever way you want in your desired method. And let me know in the comments below, do you think these are cute? We love them, I can't wait to hide them. Please like and subscribe to Ruffles and Rain Boots for more crafty rock painting fun.